So when you look at the data, uh, when I say case rates, and this is just regionally, nationally also, whenever you have large events or holidays or any occasion where people tend to get together, whether it's July 4th, whether it's Thanksgiving, you typically see cases go up you know, several weeks after that. And that is all consistent with the fact that people are congregating. People are having face-to-face -face interactions. And so as we're heading into the holiday season, that is our major concern, that there will be more opportunity for people to interact and for the virus to transmit from person to person. And so yes, indeed, the holiday seasons uh, uh, are a significant uh, risk. If you look at our numbers, our numbers are increasing. Some of that was expected, mainly because people are indoors more, the temperature is getting colder. But what is concerning is that people's behaviors are also contributing to the rise in COVID. Uh, you know, when you look at New York State, you know, we were hit very hard early on. And part of that was because COVID was circulating um, earlier than we thought. Uh, we did not know enough about the virus at that time. And we didn't know what effective preventive and containment measures were. But we learned very quickly, and the measures that have been put in place in New York has been incredibly effective. Uh, so although the rise in cases, somewhat is to be expected, some of it is obviously due to just fatigue and people sort of forgetting, you know, the things that they did that actually accomplished the great decrease in, in case rates in New York. And so what I want to remind people is that as we're heading into hol the holiday season, as there will be more opportunities for you to sort of get together with family, get together with friends, think carefully about some of the things that you are going to be doing. Whether households will be mixing with other households. And if you're not absolutely sure that, you know, the households that you are congregating with are taking the same preventive measures you are, and, and you're absolutely confident that there are not cases uh, in, that, in those groups, I would, I would really advise people to avoid that. You know, the other thing that I want people to understand is with the availability of vaccines becoming more and more apparent, the light is there at the end of the tunnel. But what we need to do is get out of this tunnel. And, and what this entails is another at least three, four months of continuing to hunker down to really uh, double down on the measures, especially the mitigation and containment measures that we've all been doing a wonderful job in and we encourage people to continue that.